Programmers do kung fu fighting To ride good fast as lightning Go back to the test class. Okay, two times the same book costs 16 euro. How about two different books? They should get the discount, right? Public void two different books should receive 5% discount. That's the rules. So if I say order at book, Potter book, actually, I would like to to shorten this, um, this writing here. So let's add a static import. I think that's working import static uh, Potter book star, it should be possible for me to reference just the books directly, right? Oh, nice. So we can throw out all of these. It's a little shorter, a little more convenient to, to write for me. So I can now just say add book, whatever, third, and add book something else. Let's say the fifth. Was it there twice? Whatever. Um, First, second, third, fourth, fifth. So it actually imported all of them. Whatever this is. A anyways, anyways, uh, doesn't matter for now. Um, third and fifth, and now I assert the total, and it should be two books, sixteen hundred, um, with a discount of five percent. Discount of five percent is. 80 cents if I'm not mistaken, so this should be 1520. Re-execute the test, of course that fails. So I need to do something about it. Switch back to this class. So actually, I need to distinguish the case where I have two times the same book and two different books. So let's compute Let's just create a set from um, from the lists elements that should have one element if both books are the same and two elements if both both books are different. So Java util hash sets uh, from books can infer the type. That's nice and assign that to a local variable which tells me distinct books. Okay, so now I can distinguish this here and say distinct books size equals two, then I want to return distinct books dot size times single book price, actually it's books.size, right? Books.size doesn't make a difference in that case. Books.size times single book price um, times 0 0.95, which is 9% discount. And now I get an error because this is not an integer anymore, which means I cast it back to in because I know it's a int value that's coming out of there re-execute the test, everything's working. Am I happy with that implementation? I would actually like to pull out the books.size here to a local variable and say number of books. Did it down here too, so I have to compute that only once. Uh, distinct books. I actually don't really need the distinct books, right? I only need the count of the distinct books. So I would like to to draw this out into a variable and say number of distinct books. 
number of books, number of distinct books, and pull that out into a method. Get number of distinct books. Number of distinct books. Now we have that here a little ugly. Can just immediately return that. So inline. Um, yeah. Okay, fine with me. Number of books. Actually, let's streamline this. Say get number of books. Get number of books, get number of distinct books, and then do my computation based on that. Everything's still working. Everything's still working. Nice. So let's go back. Um, actually, now there's two ways to continue, I think. One would be to go for three books and like test three times the same book, three different books, and then uh, some combination. But actually, I would like to first follow up on the 5% discount rule, because I already started with it, and go for um, multiple times the rule. Void to um, two times two different books. Mm. No, that's that's that could be four different books. Um, two books duplicated should receive five percent discount. And for the sake of shortening these method names, I'm going to remove the shoulds here. Two books duplicated receive five percent. A discount to different books receive 5% discount. That's a test case. Um, so we have order add book the first, duplicate that, and order add book the whatever third, and duplicate that. And now I want to have 3040 actually. Assert that total, which is twice times, to two times, twice the price of this, because there's first third is one pair and first third is another pair. Uh, 3040. Okay, re-execute that. That actually works. Nice. 